Freda shut out Wapato 6 0 at home last night. Josh Kalstrom drove in the first run of the game in the home half of the first. Freda had a chance to make it 2 0, but Justin DeHoe was thrown out at home trying to score on a wild pitch. The Tigers got the run back on a two out RBI triple by Michael Crowder in the bottom of the second. Crowder then scored on a wild pitch to make it 3 0, and the route was on. Crowder got the start on the hill and went the distance, giving up three hits and seven innings of work. Efreda moves to 5-5 five and five in CWAC play with the win. The Tigers return to the Diamond Saturday for a home doubleheader with Sela. Moses Lake Baseball was looking to make it four wins in a row when Davis came calling for a single game at Larson Field last night. Here's Sean Wells with the story. It was a big game for Moses Lake Baseball hosting Davis. The Chiefs needed a win to keep close behind Big Nine Conference leader Wenatchee. It was Davis jumping out on top, leading 4-0 after three innings. Moses Lake pitching couldn't find their groove as the Davis hitters combined for 10 base hits in the contest. Great defense kept the Chiefs in the game, but Moses Lake batters couldn't break Davis pitcher Elias Montezuma. Montezuma went the distance for the Pirates, giving up one earned run, forward hits, and striking out seven. Jonathan Imperial was the big hitter for Davis going three for four, knocking in two RBIs as Davis took the game nine to one. Despite the loss, Moses Lake remains in third place in the Big Nine Conference. For Forever One News, Sean Wells. It was a great day for Warden on the ball field. The Lady Cougars swept a two-game series with Royal. Warden won the first game 11 to nothing and took the second game 14 to two. Warden star pitcher Aaliyah Enriquez pitched a perfect game in the opening contest, striking out 10 batters. Warden baseball also got a much needed sweep of the Knights. The Cougars took the first game seven to one and crushed Royal in the second game 15 to five. The first place Cougars get a shot at Kittitas on the road Friday. Marnie Skinner tossed a one-hit gem, and Moses Lake crushed Davis 14-2 on the softball diamond in Yakima. The Chiefs held a slim 2-1 lead going into the second. Moses Lake exploded for eight runs in the frame to blow the game wide open. The Chiefs moved to 7-0 in Big Nine league play with the win. Moses Lake has been an offensive juggernaut to date, outscoring opponents 115-15 in nine games this season. The Chiefs and Pirates are back at it Friday for a doubleheader action at Larson Field. Moses Lake got goals from Tyler Mullen and Ricardo Cruz, but came up one shy in a 3-2 loss on the pitch at Sunnyside. The Chiefs were ranked the fifth best 4A team in the state after reeling off six straight wins to start the season. Moses Lake has now dropped its last four matches and is nearing must-win situations each time out on the pitch to assure a playoff spot. We'll be right back after this.